2016 was a record year for youth violence in King County. There were nine youth-involved murders, six in South County. We had a lot of uh, violence in our community. My son is 17, goes to Decatur High School, and he was sitting down having lunch with one of the boys that was uh, murdered later that afternoon. The city of Federal Way had the second highest number of police referrals to the juvenile justice system in the county. Our school district had the third highest number of referrals to the justice system. But instead of turning to the justice system for solutions, the community is creating its own. This is the Game of Life, an activity-based intake and referral program at the Boys and Girls Club in Federal Way. It was started by family therapist Winston Bell. Uh, they get to relieve some of their stress. They get to work out and, and get physically fit. Um, uh, it helps with the uh, childhood obesity. Um, it, it just helps them clear their minds. If like kids our age, they, they want to come in and stay out of trouble, you can go hoop. They got this nice lady that helps you with your resumes. They have food. They have people that cater so you, you can uh, eat and hoop and just stay out of trouble. It's just good vibes here. And you get to meet new people. Yeah. It's fun. They come for basketball, but they're able to get so many more of the services that folks in the community are offering. You know, these young guys, they can't afford gym memberships. Some of them come from abstract poverty. Are they, you know, financially strapped? Will Jimerson is with a Positive Outcomes Program, or POP, with a multi-service center. They say, you look like me, I can relate to you. Um, it's easy to have a conversation, um, I, and so therefore, they know that you care. They reach out to kids at schools, in the community, and on the sidelines. The main focus is how can we help you and how can we help you be a better person and grow. If it's education, if it's employment, if it's food, clothes, if it's bus transportation, if it's mentorship, whatever it is, how can we help you? Yeah, they're good role really models. They're really good mentors. Yeah. They teach us life lessons. Yeah. Rayshawn Parker says his mentors have helped him. A lot of things I went through growing up, a lot of things I've seen, it's like, I could only relate to people, you know, like me, so when they came and gave me an opportunity, I took it, you know, and it just felt like family. Kid, you got kids growing up in a lot of dysfunctional homes, single mothers, single fathers, some none, some, you know, just looking for some form of guidance. Just having a, a black male figure in my life to really show me and tell me things and to really let me know that this is okay and this is not okay, it really helps because my father wasn't there around that time, so. Yeah, so I was a little hard-headed, so they coming around, they really helped me a lot. They did. They did. I've matured a lot. Both Game of Life and Pop came together under Federal Way's Youth Action Team. The Federal Way Youth Action Team came together based on the statistics of losing kids, and we all just decided to, um, instead of waiting for somebody else to, to come in and, and help, that we needed to help. We just got together and said, what can we do right now uh, to bring young people together to give them something to look forward to. The Youth Action Team is homegrown support and interventions. It's something for Federal Way by Federal Way, and we're finding that it works. Kids are, kids are showing up. Jason Clark is a bridge between the court system and these alternative community programs. So it kind of like builds that bridge for young people back to their community, like how they develop that community connection. And it benefits the court through partnership because now there's these young people from South King County who can be referred into a local program. Programs like HYPE, an alternative for kids on probation. Again, it's based on credible messengers, people in the community that look like the kids. Every other weekend, and we do workshops on life skills, uh, personal finance, we do some a cultural piece. The favorite thing that they love is uh, we've taught them how to cook their own meals. So we do nutritioning and budgeting, and we bring in guest chefs from different cultures. They get to go to Hype, they get to participate in something that's local with community leaders, they have a familial meal, they get those skill sets that they're developing there in their community with the people who they're going to see at the grocery store. It all adds up to a different approach to stemming youth violence. But the fact that we have 35 to 50 of these kids to show up every week early. Uh, that really says something. To me, what it says is we need something like this to be involved with. We need some positive activities to help us move into adulthood. 